What's up my subs? How are you guys doing today? Um, I'm sorry you can probably tell I'm like it's super early in the morning right now. Um, just rising and grinding, you know, gotta what get this loaf of sourdough or whatever the kids say. We're a chef kitchen, we don't do white bread. What? Throwing shade all day. I'm um, just kidding. I support all bakers. White bread is a good place to start, but sourdough is the best. It's kind of indisputable. Anyway, this is K Gadgets for Life, Gadgets with two T's and a Z, number four L-Y-F-F-E for Life, Kitchen Gadgets for Life. Um, if you haven't already, check out my other page, Nerf Guns for Life. I break down what's pretty indisputably the greatest Nerf arsenal of all time, the things you need to have for your Nerf apocalypse. <coughs> um, but on this channel, um, <laughs> sorry, I look at my producer and she makes faces at me. Um, I'm breaking down the best kitchen gadgets I have. No, they're not all top of the line, um, but you know, the, the important thing is to continue to expand. Your collection's always growing. You're always finding new materials and new compounds that they're making things with. So um, today I'm gonna kind of start off with things that stir. Um, I have this beautiful, I mean, I, there's no better way to describe it than that. <coughs> Chrome-plated KitchenAid Z700 whisk so the 700 series again you're going to hear me talk about a lot of different series because they've been doing this for a long time um this is the second to newest series so the six came before um and i think the eight came out this year but the 700 here it's characterized actually you can count the number of spindles it has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So the 700 series, 16 spindles, you know, easy to remember that, I guess. I'm sorry, I'm showing you our bread over there. Don't mind it. <coughs> um, this is a fantastic tool. And <coughs> actually, if you go and watch the great whisk off hosted by Food52, um, the winner, what was her name? Meryl Stubbs. Meryl Stubbs, actually. It's hard to tell, but I think you can look at the black handle. It looks like a KitchenAid 700 series, though it's the earlier version because it was from 2012. Also, just want to give a shout out to Meryl. Um, did a great job. You can check that out on YouTube. Look it up. Um, the other thing I have, <coughs> this I have a, a version of that I use more often, but <coughs> um, this I like for the aesthetic. It's a classic, very chic wooden spoon. Um, very plain from top to bottom. Hardly any bow in it. Um, which is great for stirring this. I'm a huge um, Star Wars fan. Is that what this is from? No, no, Taters? No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, sorry. We get our things, <coughs> our uh, stuff confused here. Huge Guardians of the Galaxy fan. And you probably remember the part where Peter Quill says, Taters, boil them, I mash them, I stick them in stew. So that's what that's a reference to. Um, no, it was Clark Kent. What? That says it. It's Clark Kent that says it in Guardians. Okay, well, obviously I have no clue. Clark Kent in Guardians says it. I can't even do a Clark Kent voice. <clears throat> it's probably just some random guy with red hair that said it in the middle of a forest. Um, but anyway, sp wooden spoons, you can't go wrong. I use these a lot for stirring uh, water when it's trying to get to a boil. If you can, <laughs> I can't because seriously, if you can add more bubbles, it boils faster, and this is ideal for for bubble making. So, bear that in mind next time you're trying to stir something. Get yourself a wooden spoon. Um, thanks for coming and checking me out. <clears throat> I'm hoping to get another Q and A going here um, within a few videos. I'll post these up, post some links, and then um, <clears throat> hopefully hear back from you guys, and we can get some stuff cranking. Um, peace.